Hello, everybody. No Kaneku here. Here on Final Fantasy War of the Visions. We roll for New Year stuff. And some stuff that I forgot to roll on. <laughs> so I'm, uh, yeah, so let's kind of like look through a couple of things right before we start rolling. Um, so yeah, there's a exclusive character, right? It's Global First, Global Exclusive, Global Original, something like that, right? It's Shaolin's, the character we all voted for, and here's her yarn version of her. And yeah, as you can see, I haven't rolled uh, the free tickets yet, so I'll probably be doing that as well. Whether I'm really going to be seriously rolling for her um, is a good question, right? She is a uh, level 100, not level 100, Cost 100 character, uh, Dark Lance user, and oddly, she's not an NV character like she is uh, with her her normal MR version of herself. <laughs> uh, but she can definitely take some hits. She can take some hits, and especially has a lot of resistance against missile units. So kind of feels like she's just kind of built to fight against missile characters. It also has a lot of AOE rest, so um, yeah, she could definitely. She's not like the character that will be able to tank hits, but she could still take some hits that are mainly aimed at the tank, and she will be able to survive and do some damage herself. Um, it's questionable. I think she's a good character, but for me, I don't think I am gonna be rolling for her right now. There's a lot of crazy collabs going to happen ahead, and those kind of take priority for me. Uh, and even though I have like 99 vision, I feel like I'm not ready for all these collab characters coming up. We're talking about Fantasy VII Remake and Full Metal Alchemist collab coming out in the future. And those like three to four months ahead, uh, like away from now, I still want to be able to save enough and make sure I have enough for those characters when they come. Especially for Sephiroth. <laughs> and Jalice could possibly work well with Sephiroth. I'm not fully sure, since she's a new character uh, from both GP and English, we don't know much about her. So, but again, she is a, you know, one of those global of characters like, you know, Zazan and. Um, names are blinking ahead of away from me right now, but all these global characters are here, Dwayne, um, Elna, they will eventually come back, and you can see that it would be not too, be not too hard, or not too bad to try to get them later on. That was a paid one. Well, it's still kind of a gamble, I will say that later on. You have a hard chance to get it now, but... I'm just not too much in a rush, and I don't feel like I really have a need. I kind of, you know, am trying to... I kind of went, like, and focusing on wind teams and light teams again. Before, I thought I had them set, and I kind of, like, expanded it out, but now I feel like I need to really narrow it down back again. So, that's why I'm kind of, like, hesitant on this. Um, but she will be back eventually and when I feel like I need her I can get her in that time so I'll probably with help with that. Um, another interesting character that's come out that I haven't talked about yet is uh, Winter Vin not Vinera, Winter Ravis. So she is more interesting. She's a cost 70 right? Just like uh, you kind of think of her like Halloween Little Leela or uh, Halloween Lucia? Yeah, those kind of characters. So, they're not gonna, not gonna be like outperforming a lot of characters in the game, but for characters for this cost, they, they would be doing a lot better than they feel like they would be doing. Um, well, who knows? Actually, because she's in the ice category, she might be doing a bit better. Like, I feel like she probably would do better than, uh, what's his name? Uh, Laswell. Then Laswell. Ooh. For example, she's going to be able to take hits as well and dish out hits. She's, she's going to be really bruisy, bruiser-like. Um, 
my character to be able to take hits and and yeah. Oof. I was it was really tempting for me to kind of roll for her, but again, again I don't really run an ice team and I don't have a team that can really really support her very well. I have Alea, but the one character I really needed the most was uh that one ice crystal warrior healer. Oh my god, I'm just I'm just the names I'm just so bad. <laughs> but yeah, if you have those two characters, she could probably work well with them. I just am missing one. It feels weird, but anytime I feel like I'm missing a really crucial character, I really don't feel like I can run the team very well. Um, and it's not only just the characters, it's also the vision card. So, just one missing piece, it just doesn't feel good for me to run. So, again, I'm gonna have to wait until later to kind of get her in the future. She oddly, even though she's a winter character, they kind of come back around the springtime again, so. Who knows, maybe I might go for her then and there. For now, I'll hold back. Okay, so now that we kind of go through all the stuff I kind of missed, where Lance back, I don't have him, but my anger bird feels sufficient enough so I don't feel like I need him, even though he did get a boost where I think he kind of heals back again when he's kind of low. So he's good if you're looking for a light tank. Very really tempting for me to like grab Death Machine, but I managed to kind of with help from it for a while, and I'm probably still wait. Guaranteed ten. Oh, it's a guarantee for two K paid. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That's tempting. I'll think about that. I. I mean, even if I get it here, I might have trouble kind of gathering all the shards I need for this. But, what I will say is all of the other vision cards... So, wait, wait going back to Death Machine. Death Machine, he's a really good tank. You need a tanking Esper, but I just... There's, back then when there wasn't that much tank Espers, he felt really good to have. In case you have another tank, you need to put it on, especially if they need a very specific stat to be to. And the card itself is good if you are running a dark team, but again, more light and wind oriented, so that's kind of the reason why I've been sitting away. I had had the need I wanted it in, when it first came out, but later after when there are much more tank experts that came out that I actually obtained, I had less of a need for this card ever since. That's why I've been kind of skipping him. <laughs> Yeah, I should still skip him, but, um, yeah, going back up, these other vision cards that came out, these vision cards, I will roll for, I do, I do like these vision cards, we're talking, because it's not just, we're no longer kind of in the, in the, kind of doing any, like, elemental vision cards, right, so even if I don't roll these characters, I can still use these vision cards because they're more job based. This, this is just based on whether you're using a slash character, for example, which a lot of us do. And there's 2B, which is my main character I kind of use a lot, a lot right now. She's in here, so she could technically use this. So these might not feel good right now. I mean, stats are really good right now, really. We're talking about man eater, attack up, dex up, your resistance. Probably perfect if you're finding shadow, the new Shadow Links. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't really use this one for Revise, uh, or but use Era. Um, I'm gonna use Era. Yeah, I don't really use so much of these characters. Who knows? Some of these characters are making a comeback, I think, when the new Resurrection system comes out. And the Blessing of the Far, um, having. A barrier that reduces magic damage. That's really good if you kind of aim against magic, right? So, it's a good card. It's a good card. Same thing with Shadow Lynx's card. Um, what's great about this is she already has some pretty high, like, missile attack res, and this gives it even more. You can get some really high missile res. It'd be really good, but that's not the only good stat. Attack 40%, that's pretty good, that's pretty high. Almost as much as like different, right? And you get critical damage, you are still a little bit faster They're all nice stuff, and I do have 
the normal challenge that I kind of use sometimes in PvE, which I can use this effect on. So, pretty good card. I'm definitely picking this up. Okay. Okay. I think I finally covered everything that I haven't talked about for the previous month. So let's start rolling. Um, yeah, let's start with the New Year's roll. Even though I kind of got all the main characters I could possibly want right now in the standard pool, because of the whole reincarnation system, getting more mind stores is not a bad idea. Um, also, some of these characters aren't really fully at 120. Some are kind of sitting at 115, so getting more answers to that is not bad either. And there's still a possibility of getting a character I didn't get, right? So, let's go right in. Oh, this looks a little bit different, huh? They're just being a little more detailed of what they're using, I guess. But as long as they're not using my paid, all good. It's worth it. Enough to support this. Yep, and we get five URs. May not look like it, but there's five. Five characters. Surprise me. I got a new character. And it's... I almost call, wanted to call her Mume, but yeah, it's Therese. Oh my god. Like, when when did she even came out? It's been... I think it was like two months ago, right? It's kind of quiet, because everybody's like, kind of expecting collab characters, Halloween characters, well, not really collab characters, just holiday characters that were coming up. And the global exclusive characters, so she kind of was... Kind of like... Quiet when she came out? <laughs> okay. Yeah, nothing too crazy. But just one new character, and I guess I will actually have to look at her kit a bit more closer. Not that I have her. She is... A Winion, after all. Even though I don't use Wind Missiles together, but then she could work well with um, Lucia, right? The Sniper, Viking, and a Gunner. Yeah, so she could possibly work well with Lucia since they're both Mysterious. Who knows? I'm trying to think of who else is a Wind Missile. Oh, and there's also um, Jaden, right? Summer Jaden, which I do have. Okay. Well. Look into that later. Let's go for the vision cards next. See what I get here. Yeah, and I think I got all the vision cards I mainly need. I wouldn't know what I need from this, really. Let's see if it could surprise me. But it's actually a unit from this as well. It's a little extra. Alright, I have that maxed. 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 <laughs> Alright, I have that maxed. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have wrote this. Yeah, I got luck. Literally nothing new from this. Even though the reservation came out, right? The mind spheres are nice for characters, but the extra stuff cards for vision cards are kind of not really going anywhere. <laughs> okay, it's okay. I was trying to see if it could surprise me, but didn't really. But I guess, I guess if you got most of the vision cards in the game already all maxed, then you probably don't really need to do that as much. But it's okay. That was real fun. It's New Year's. Okay, and lastly, let's see if I got lucky. I'm gonna go for Shaolin on ice. It's very funny is uh, some of my guild members thought she was an ice character when she uh, was announced when it came out. It could be be deceiving because you know has ice in her name, but yeah, she stayed a dark unit just like her MR self. 
Okay. Not so lucky today. But that's okay. One of these days, Shadow Links. One of these days. Okay, let's go for the vision cards now. Make sure I do the right one. There's no guaranteed, right? Anywhere. Nope. Just a five step. So it's a question of whether I will have to pity for her or I get lucky and get it earlier. Probably not this one though. Or maybe it could be this one. So any of those MR is typically rainbow up. Wow, that was that was pretty lucky right there. <laughs> so I guess when it comes to, you know, surprise goals or sub goals, I didn't hit anything too crazy that surprised me, but I guess when it came to things I'm directly aiming for, I kind of got at least one of them. Okay, nice. Now that I have that, I'll, I get to save my 8k visual. I wonder if he's trying to tell me the pull on Shadow Wings. <laughs> It could be, right? Maybe he's trying to beat me. Um, okay. But first, let's go for the next vision card. Um, from Trevor Beast's vision card. Mm, yeah, just make it sure. Right? I just want to make sure. These are previous vision cards that I have already. This one's a trap. You are guaranteed a vision card. Oh, not a vision card. You're guaranteed a UR, but it's, n it's a 2% chance to get it here, which is almost no difference from trying to roll it from here, but at least for this one, you eventually would get it with five steps. And that one, there's no guarantee, and you're using paid visual. Stick with the fast step. I mean, the other fast step did me justice, right? I mean, this is deceiving, but I was surprised when I wrote the last one. Well, this surprised me as well. Not with that one. Or that one. I had to think about that for a bit. <laughs> yeah, that's an old Katoon card. That was just an MR one as well. Okay. No surprises there. Okay. Continue on. What do we have? Let's do it a little bit too quickly. Mmm. Feels a lot. A lot of nothing here. Yeah, a lot of nothing. Oh, hey, Shell. Okay. Going forward. I just remember that Ice Crystal Warrior's name is his name is Bellas. Yeah, I kind of thought about that when I saw Shell, thinking like, oh, it's just a, wow, this is this is really looking really good right here. Yeah, I was like thinking Bellas is just a ER Shell. <laughs> Shell was a really good character when she first came out. So. Question is, will I get it here and be done here? And the answer is yes. I am. Wait. This is the card, right? No, it's not the card, but this is a new card that I don't have. Okay, I'll take it either way. Yeah, this is a standard pull card. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. This is... I think this is the card that came around the time Alaya came out. Kind of important for Alaya, so that's nice. Kind of what I was expecting from the guaranteed... The five guaranteed UR vision card banner earlier, but... Okay. Got it here and now. See what we get here. Mm, I mean, there's a lot of vision cards. A lot of them. But it's a lot of nothing. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, we're on the fifth step. I need all of those medals anyways to help me get the cards. So this one should be guaranteed. Unfortunately, I had to go this far, but it's okay. It's kind of what I was expecting in the first place. Anything better than what I was expecting is just being lucky. And here you go. Wish on the winter night. I get Death Machine, it's like a splurge pick, but I always do like it whenever there is a paid option to get these kind of cards. Because because it's almost like converting like 2k paid to 10k um, normal visual, right? That you would have spent five stepping trying to get it, like the way I got the winter card. Who knows? I actually haven't seen what like uh, the upgraded version of the Esper, like the tree that it gets. So, it could be good. I don't know. So even if I don't get the vision card maxed out again, the Esper could give me a little more options. Even if I have all these other tanking Espers, each, each tanking Espers tend to do a little bit different things. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. I'll go ahead and grab this. Especially since I don't have the card. Or Esper. Now I think. Should be guaranteed, right? There you go. Yeah, I think it's worth it in the end. Yeah, first time bonus. Thank you. Hmm, what could this be? I just thought it would be funny if this were a light. I'm like, oh no, and now I have to work on him too. <laughs> okay. Well, that's almost like three works three weeks worth of pulls, right? <laughs> All things that just came out very really recently. And you can just kinda see that oh I have something eighty k eighty one K. I thought I was gonna walk way around with 70 but yeah definitely have enough to get both of these characters but if i do i'll run dry and i will barely have anything for fun fight seven when that comes out and i think that's the other big thing right um when reincarnation comes out a lot of the characters that can reincarnate it and reincarnate can hit level 140 and they're going to have an advantage against characters that can't hit 140, right? That's just like how it was when we went from 99 to 120. And there's like pants that Calyx here could be left behind when it comes. I mean, you could say that once you like global uh, soups characters all come back, you should probably get that Yarn upgrade, which probably will be the case. 
but we don't know how long that will take, right? It might, it might take like six months from now. Who knows? But actually, this is a... I just like to kind of bank on things I know for sure that will have reincarnation kind of supported. Um, and not bank on something that I'm not really sure of which I would get much use of yet. And I'm thinking kind of like how Winter, Winter of Venera was kind of like supposed to have her like 120 when she like had it when that system came out on on JP, right? But in Global, she did not have that for a long time. So Warner kicked off because that power couple of Titas and Winter Venera never happened. Until it was too late when all the lightning characters came out, and yeah, unfortunate. So things get shipped off, and even if you plan that far ahead, it just never pans off. If you, if you kind of are a gamble like that, so it's okay. I have pretty good teams right now, and I should be able to last until reincarnation comes out, and we'll see how that happens yet when that happens. And I think that'll be the next time you guys will see me roll. So. Um, you guys are rolling between now to there or then or phone things today. I wish you guys luck in your rolls, and I'll see you guys later. No, Michael signing out. Bye bye.